I have to say, when I delivered a speech in La Sorbonne, September 17, a lot of comments were about, okay, European sovereignty, this is a French idea, this is just a speech. It will never happen. But I've decided to make these words central to my political projects, and I've never forgotten that the very concept of sovereignty has as well its roots in the Netherlands. And this is a very European concept. 350 years ago, right here in the city of um, The Hague, one of the founders of political modernity, Baruch Spinoza, wrote in an article 17, chapter 2 of his Tractatus Politicus, I quote him, the right is defined by the power of the multitude, we call it sovereignty. I will not lecture you on Spinoza, I want to reassure you. I just want to highlight that in Spinoza's philosophy, sovereignty is a means to guarantee the essence of being, to persevere in oneself. To put it plainly, whoever wants to be themselves must be sovereign. In other words, and I want to insist on that, identity and sovereignty are intertwined. And I think this is very important to understand this link and the fact that Spinoza makes it as one of the founding concepts of precisely political philosophy. Because if you accept to lose your sovereignty, it means if you accept to depend on other powers, you put yourself in a situation not to decide for yourself and not to be in charge of precisely continuing, preserving, developing your own identity. But I think the wake-up call was made during the pandemic. We discovered that we were dependent on a lot of devices, on a lot of drugs, on a lot of products, suddenly. And even those who were supposed to cooperate with us, some allies, decided to ban the export during months, as long as they were not served and protected. And during the war, those who decided to cooperate, to make trade with neighbors, even if they were not allies, Russia, for energy. Because we decided, de facto, that trade could be the best way to cooperate, could create irreversible links and precisely avoid the others to be aggressive. They decided to weaponize the energy, putting us in a completely crazy and unbelievable situation. Pandemic and war just pushed us in a situation to discover that we have to reduce our dependencies if you want to preserve the European identity. Otherwise, we will progressively be dependent on everything. And it's probably due to the fact, this is a sort of convergence with what I heard, Europe was, and especially the European Union, was too much driven by a customer approach and not sufficiently by the citizen and the producer approach. And we didn't build sufficiently how to ensure our, I would say, economic security. And my intention, what I want to advocate, is not to, in a certain way, revert to protectionism and so on, it doesn't make sense, but to try to design with you and to define in a few minutes what could be this comprehensive economic security doctrine for the e European Union to guide our European action globally. And I mean to protect ourselves, our identity, and to put ourselves in a situation to define our current and our future model for ourselves. <laughs>